Hello, and welcome to this video on isosceles triangles. Now, we previously saw that an isosceles triangle is where two of the sides are the same length. So we could say this side is the same as... So we could say this length is the same as this length, and we put a mark on each to say they are the same length. But that would also mean that these two angles here are the same size. Now, we call these two angles the base angles. And that's because they lie on this side here, which is the base of the triangle. So if we have an isosceles triangle, the side that is not the same as the two others is known as the base. And the two angles on that base, which are equal, are known as base angles. Now, if you ever struggle to identify where the base angles are, I have a little trick. If you put your two fingers on those two marks of the lengths that are the same, and you slide your fingers away from each other, you can see it ends up at these two angles here, which are the base angles. It would be wrong, for example, to slide your fingers that way because your fingers aren't going in the same direction, they're going in opposite directions. So, for example, if I indicate a triangle like this, and I said that those two lengths were the same, if I put my two fingers on it, I slide my fingers in the same direction away from each other, it'd be going like that, which means that those two angles are the base angles and those two angles are the same. So if we're ever asked to justify why these two angles are the same, we would write base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And let's use that to solve some of these problems here. So we want to find the value of x in each case. So we've got this triangle, I'll copy it out so we can draw on it. Those two lengths are the same. That's x, which we want to find. This is 70. Well, if those two lengths are the same, if we slide our things away from each other in the same direction, well, those are the two base angles. Those are going to be the same, so that's also 70. And we know the angles in a triangle sum to 180. So those two add up to 140, and then 180 minus 140 is equal to 40. So therefore, x is equal to 40 degrees. What about question two? Now, if we again put our two things on the marks and slide them in the same direction away from each other, these are the two base angles. So these two are the same. Well, we know that's 80, so these two must add up to 100, because if you did 180 minus 80, that means the remaining angles add up to 100 degrees. But they're the same, so we can just divide the 100 by 2 to get 50 degrees. So they must be 50 degrees each, and therefore x is equal to 50. What about the third one? We've got two triangles here. So those are all the same length. We want to find x, and we know this is 36. Well, if we concentrate on this triangle first, those two lengths are the same, so those two angles are the same. We just do 180 minus 36 to get 144 degrees. And then because they're the same, we divide 144 by 2 to get 72 degrees. So each of those is 72. Now, we know angles in a straight line add up to 180. So we can just do 180 minus that, which would be 108 degrees. And now, we know these two lengths are the same, so these two angles are the same. So we can just do 180 minus 108, which is equal to 72 degrees. And because those are the same, we just divide 72 by 2, which is equal to 36 degrees. So x is equal to 36. And the final one, question 4, we want to find x up here. Well, these two lengths are the same, so those two angles are the same. If we slide our fingers, that's 40. Now, we could quickly get this angle by noticing this is the exterior angle of this triangle. And we saw in a previous video that the exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the two other interior angles. So that immediately we get as 80. But if we do it the long way, we know that this angle is 180 minus 40 minus 40, which is 100 degrees. Then this angle, because they're on a straight line around that point, 180 minus 100 degrees is 80 degrees. And then these two lengths are the same. And these are using two marks, by the way, because these two lengths are the same, but it's different from this length. So if we slide our fingers, those two are the same. So that is 80. 80 plus 80 is 160. And then 180 minus 160 is going to be 20 degrees. So x is equal to 20 degrees.